Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. The Age of Cards. The Hundred Ghosts Night Walk is drawn at the start. Chapter 26. Among the three alien planes around Tianxin City. Yin Karen is not the strongest one, but it is undoubtedly the most treacherous one. This plane inherits a terrifying, bizarre and unimaginable civilization, the corpse civilization. In this plane, the most precious resources and tools are not some kind of ore, oil or complex machinery, but dead corpses. Yin Karen aliens can concoct corpses and even living people through secret methods, and make them into corpse creatures with terrible power. Powerful spellcasters are able to directly animate the corpse and make it obey his will. Normal human beings don't have a good impression of this civilization. Therefore, the relationship between the human alliance and Yin Karen has always been bad, not losing to the black scale plane. In the hands of an enemy who specializes in processing corpses, death is no longer the most frightening thing. Thinking of this, Xu Yongge felt cold all over, and an uncontrollable despair floated in his heart. Are you adventurers? The man in black robe raised his head, revealing an old and withered face, and looked at Gao Wendong and Xu Yongge. The two shuddered and nodded quickly. It seems that I underestimated your strength. I didn't expect that not only did someone successfully break out of the canyon, but even the worm tide was blocked. As soon as these words came out, Gao Wendong's expression suddenly froze. Insect tide blocked. How is this possible? So many death knell beetles, how did the people who stayed in the canyon resist? Should not be. Strong remorse bit Gao Wendong's heart, making his face distorted. Knowing that the group of people could block the insect tide, he stayed in the canyon. At this moment, the man in black robe suddenly turned his head to look somewhere. Gao Wendong and Xu Yongge also followed subconsciously. Just more than 20 meters away, a gray fog suddenly emerged, slowly condensing into an adult form. A black armored knight in black armor and holding a spear. It was Elena. There are guests here. The man in black robe narrowed his eyes slightly, and the chill in his eyes flashed away. He waved his staff and pointed at Irina. Go and treat our guests well. The two-headed sutured corpse that was eating roared up to the sky, dropped the corpse, and rushed towards Irina with heavy steps. The disgusting corpse odor quickly spread. Wherever the stitched corpse passed, a rotten black mark was left on the ground. The monster that should not continue to exist, returned to the embrace of the end. Arena said lightly. The voice was calm and calm, without the slightest turbulence. After the words fell, the long spear engraved with the mysterious lines had been pierced by lightning, and it turned into two blurred afterimages and disappeared into the head of the stitched corpse one after another. Laugh. Laugh. After a slight noise, the sutured corpse instantly froze in place, motionless. The next second, starting from the head, their bodies gradually disintegrated and dissipated. In the blink of an eye, the Kung Fu vanished, leaving no trace. This scene made Gao Wendong and Xu Yongge stare with shock and shock. That's a level 40 stitched corpse. Was actually killed in one hit. What is the origin of this black knight? The black robed man also sighed inwardly when he saw this. The strength of this card cannot be underestimated. Which Kadu strongman of the human alliance is it? You might as well show up and see. He shouted aloud. However, after waiting for more than 10 seconds, no one responded. HMPH, it seems that he is a rat who likes to hide his head and show his tail. With an angry snort, the man in black robe looked at Arena with a cold gaze, and waved his hand. Kill her. The corpse soldiers who were already ready to go all around, drew their swords without hesitation when they heard the words, and there was no expression on their stiff faces. Laugh. The sound of the cracking sounded sharply. Alina's spear swept across. Where the gun tip passed, faint gray fluctuations emerged, and finally formed clear ripples that swept the area 270 degrees ahead. Like a death ripple reappears. The soldier who was swept by the gray ripples disappeared without a single hum and returned to the embrace of the end. Just one hit. More than half of the hundreds of corpse soldiers were killed. Damn. The black-robed man was furious and waved his staff to display the, wraithful roar. In an instant, I saw the head of a huge and ferocious wraith emerging out of nowhere, screaming and screaming towards Irina. Facing this blow, Elena just stretched out her left palm. The dim light in front of the palm condensed, forming a hemispherical shield, blocking the whole person from behind. The wraith's head slammed into it, but it was like a drop of water falling into the sea, and the text silently disappeared. 
What is this? The black-robed man was shocked. The Wraith Roar was a level 60 death attribute spell, and it was cancelled so easily. He could clearly see just now that the black armored knight offset the wraith's roar with some more powerful decomposition of the same attribute and high level elements. But, is there an element of the same attribute higher than death? The man in black robe was puzzled, and the more he thought about it, the more frightened he became. Seeing that the corpse soldiers were almost wiped out, he gritted his teeth and gave an order to the corpse warrior beside him. Stop, or I'll kill them. After Irena killed the last corpse soldier, she looked back and saw two corpse warriors with swords on Gao Wendong and Xu Yongi's necks. Chapter 27 The black-robed man sneered at Irina. You are here to save them. In this case, I advise you to stop acting rashly, otherwise I don't blame me for killing your two companions immediately. Irina looked at her silently, her face was covered by a mask and she couldn't see her expression clearly. However, in the eyes of the black-robed man, it became the performance of a rat-proof weapon. Call your master out now. He shouted sharply. You do it. Quote question mark question mark quote. After being stunned for a few seconds, the black-robed man understood what Arena said, showing an expression of incredible astonishment. You don't want to save their lives. Those who abandon their companions and flee from battle are not qualified to live in this world. Irina's voice was flat and without the slightest emotion. Gao Wendong, who was terrified because of the long sword on his neck, couldn't help his body froze when he heard these words, and suddenly a thought flashed through Fuji's mind. Yeezy. You are Yeezy's Kaling. Irena turned her head and glanced at Gao Wendong, but did not answer. However, the meaning is already obvious. Save me. Please save me. Yeezy, I I know I'm wrong, I shouldn't have escaped alone. Under the fear of death, Gao Wendong completely collapsed and shouted hoarsely. Seeing this, the man in black robe still doesn't understand that he wants to be wrong. The two captives and the owner of Kaling in front of them are not to mention companions, it seems that there is still a festival. It is wishful thinking to threaten each other with their lives. Thinking of this, the black robe man no longer hesitated, and immediately ordered two corpse warriors to kill Arena to buy time and he raised his staff high and chanted in a low voice. A dark and gloomy aura suddenly emerged. A huge long and narrow crack slowly opened behind the black-robed man. Two shriveled and pale huge sharp claws protruded suddenly, clawed on both sides of the crack, and slowly expanded the crack with force. When Arena killed the two corpse warriors, a hill-like ferocious dragon beast came out of the crack and roared in the sky. The terrifying long way swept out, rolling down the hearts of everyone like a rock. Gao Wendong and Xu Yongge were already trembling with fright, their lips trembling and they were speechless. Corpse Dragon. Undead Dragon Seed. This is the real dragon family. Although it is only one of the lowest rank of several dragon races, it also has powers as high as level 60. It's over. Gao Wendong and Xu Yongge had the same idea in their hearts. Even the corpse dragon came out, and it seemed that he could not expect to escape. Even if Yi Zi's Kaling is very powerful, it is impossible for him to be an opponent of the undead dragon species. The impression of the two of them on Yi Zi still remained as a student. A student, no matter how outstanding and talented, his strength is limited. And the corpse dragon is a powerful creature that even ordinary four or five star card disciples dare not fight head on. Roar. The deafening dragon roar echoed over the plain, and it was heard from Xu Yuan. Under the order of the man in black robe, the corpse dragon flapped its wings and set off a gust of wind, and with its boundless mighty power, it brazenly slaughtered towards Arena. Before it got close, it took a big mouth and exhaled a large gray mist. Dragon breath. A rich gray aura descended from the sky, drowning Arena on the head. It lasted for more than ten seconds before the corpse dragon stopped breathing. A smug smile appeared on the black-robed man's face. However, the next second, the smile suddenly stagnated. I saw that after the dragon's breath dissipated, Irena was still standing in place, without the slightest damage. The light shield of the hemisphere firmly protected her safety. The unfavorable first strike made the corpse dragon completely angry, and this time it simply swooped down and slammed into the ground like a meteor. Elena raised her hand calmly, leaned back slightly, and suddenly threw the spear in her hand. The ultimate gun. The surface of the pitch-black spear shone, 
exuding a luster that was deep and deep to the extreme, and black marks appeared wherever it passed, as if the entire sky was divided into two. In the blink of an eye, the long spear hit the front and collided with the swooping corpse dragon in the air. Boom. The shock wave ripples visible to the naked eye spread in all directions with the collision point as the core. The corpse dragon was like being hit in the face by a high-speed train, and flew backwards and fell at a faster speed than when diving. Looking closely, most of its head and shoulders have disappeared without a trace. If it wasn't itself an undead creature, it would have died at this moment and couldn't die any longer. How is this possible? The black-robed man widened his eyes in horror. The corpse dragon is not an opponent at all. Damn, does this Kaling have level 70? The black-robed man felt cold all over, and finally realized that he was not the opponent of the enemy in front of him. He raised his staff and was about to cast a teleportation spell to leave, and suddenly his chest felt cold. Ah, uh, looking at the head of the black-robed man, a spearhead that shone with an icy luster did not know when it came out through the chest. Behind, Irina slowly pulled out her spear and watched the black-robed man's body gradually disintegrate and fly away. Chapter 28 so strong, until the black robe man vanished into ashes. Gao Wendong and Xu Yongge were still in deep shock and could not recover. Even the corpse dragon was seriously injured in one blow. The mysterious Kaling in front of him is simply powerful and boundless. This, this is Yi Zi's true strength. Gao Wendong looked dull. This kind of power, is not what a one-star card student should have at all. He suddenly remembered a rumor he heard yesterday. A mysterious cardman has passed the hell level advanced quest that no one has ever completed. And Yeezy happened to be advancing to one star yesterday. Could it be that the mysterious person who completed the hell level advanced quest is Yeezy? The more Gao Wendong thought about it, the more likely it was. Otherwise, it is impossible to explain why Yeezy possesses such a powerful strength. It's a shame that he had thought before that he could surpass Yeezy one day. Thinking about it now is like a joke. Such a terrifying talent, no matter how abundant and precious cultivation resources are, it cannot be compared. Roar. The angry dragon roar awakened Gao Wendong. The black robed man died. The corpse dragon did not disappear, but fell into a frenzy. It was seriously injured and struggled hard, but was unable to stand up again. Inadvertently, the corpse dragon caught a glimpse of the two living people next to him, driven by instinct, he immediately opened his mouth and bit it without hesitation. Do not, do not come. Gao Wendong and Xu Yongi's faces changed wildly, and the souls of the dead were swept away. Save me, please, please, I promise you everything. Money, I can give you a lot of money. Gao Wendong's facial features twisted and shouted at Arena, his face full of despair and fear. Irina was unmoved, and watched with cold eyes that the two were swallowed by the corpse dragon, turning it into nutrients, and then stabbed it out with a spear, ending the corpse dragon's life. Dot 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 dot. Inside Deathstroke Canyon, Xiao Huaning suddenly raised his head with a look of surprise. I seem to hear the dragon's roar, is it my illusion? Looks like I heard it too. Eh, me too. No, is there a dragon outside? A group of students were talking. Chin Hong frowned, with a worried look on his face. It's not a good thing to have a dragon at this time, maybe it's an enemy alien creature. Just at this time, suddenly, fierce shouts and battle sounds came from the direction of the exit of the canyon. Everyone was stunned for a moment, and then they showed ecstasy. It's the rescue. The rescue army is here. Ha ha, you can wait. Damn swarm, your doom is here. As everyone expected, the insect swarm at the exit of the canyon was quickly eliminated, and countless soldiers in silver-white armor rushed in, and immediately killed the insect swarm without a word. This is the iconic military-type deck of the Tianxin City military card. Open black lens bracket silver guard close black lens bracket. With the help of the military Katu, the demise of the swarm is only a matter of time. The crisis has been lifted, and many adventurers relaxed in one breath and slumped directly on the ground, showing the expression of the rest of their lives. Only Yi Zi didn't stop and ordered Kaling to continue hunting the death knell beetle. The achievement of 10,000 slashes has not yet been completed. Fog condenses. Arena suddenly appeared. My lord. Nailed it. Fortunately not humiliated. Elena recounted the matter in a low voice. Yi Zi's expression suddenly became strange. Unexpectedly, 
Gao Wendong and others worked so hard to break through the canyon, and finally fell into the hands of the mastermind behind the scenes, and became the ration of the corpse dragon. This luck is a bit too African Emirates. Complete the achievement 10,000 slashes, and get 3,000 achievement points. Just then, mission information suddenly appeared. Yi Zi's face brightened. But it's finally done. In this way, he has 4,000 achievement points in his hand, which is enough to unlock 100 ghosts night walk to 100%. The other sighed. Are you all right? An officer strode toward the crowd, looking around the eyes and said to the four advisors. It's okay, thank you for your help. Chin Hong stepped forward and replied, showing gratitude. Are you a teacher at Tianxin College? The officer looked at the students behind Chin Hong. Yes. Chin Hong nodded quickly, and incidentally said that Yin Karen Alien was the manipulator behind the insect tide. Unexpectedly, the officer looked unsurprised. We have confirmed this information. Just half an hour ago, the garrison on the Yin Karen plane on the front line also launched an attack on our side. Now it is very dangerous. You should hurry back to the city. The news surprised everyone. The faces of the students in class A turned pale. The war is no joke. Just a little aftermath can crush their group of apprentices. Where are those Yin Karen aliens? Just about five kilometers north of the canyon. They are dead. A voice interjected. The officer turned his head and saw that Yi Zi looked at him calmly. He frowned and asked. Dead. How do you know? Because my Kaling did it. The officer was stunned for a moment, then shook his head with a dumb smile. To be able to manipulate the death knell mother to cause a swarm of insects, at least a level 60 spellcaster can do it. How could a student who is a trainee or a one-star card student at most kill that kind of existence? Chapter 29. This. Chin Hong was a little embarrassed. To be honest, he understood the officer's skepticism. If he hadn't just witnessed Yi Zi's power with his own eyes, he wouldn't believe that a student could do such a thing. It wasn't until Chin Hong whispered about Yi Zi's amazing performance in turning the tide in the worm tide, the expression on the officer's face turned into surprise. You really killed that group of Yin Karen's alien race. Although the corpse is gone, there should still be some traces of battle there. Yi Zi said calmly. The officer decisively sent someone to investigate immediately. The news that came back later really proved Yi Zi's words. What shocked the officer even more was that the residual breath of the undead dragon species was also detected at the scene. A level 60 corpse dragon. And judging from the traces on the scene, the corpse dragon has been killed. The officer's gaze towards Yi Zi was immediately filled with disbelief. That's a corpse dragon. A true dragonborn, not a low-level drake. Was actually killed by a mere student. When did the students of Tianxin College become so powerful? Seemingly aware of the officer's shock, Chin Hong coughed lightly and kindly introduced. This is the head of freshmen of our college this year, Yi Zi. It turned out to be the freshman chief, what a shit. Is it normal for the new chief to kill the corpse dragon? The officer couldn't help but utter a foul language in his heart, showing the shock in his heart. The lad is very nice. It took a long time for the officer to stammer out a word. After taking a deep look at Yi Zi, he turned and left to get busy. Yi Zi, that's Lieutenant Colonel Fung Jenkin, the best young officer in the military in recent years. He actually praised you. Xiao Huining looked at Yi Zi with envy and admiration. Yes, Yi Zi didn't take it seriously, and smiled perfunctorily. His mind was on improving the deck unlocking degree after returning. It didn't take long. Someone from the military came over and arranged for a vehicle to escort everyone back. In the evening, Yi Zi returned home smoothly. He opened the virtual panel for the first time, and spent 3,900 achievement points to increase the unlocking degree of Beigui Nightwalking deck from 61% to 100%. Name. 100 Ghosts Nightwalk. Level. Fantasy. Genus. Hero. Number of Cards. 110 100 tenths, 100 card spirit cards, 7 astrology cards, 2 scene cards, 1 core card. Core card. 100 ghosts night walk. Unlocking degree. 100%. There are now 2 fully unlocked decks. Yi Zi showed a happy smile. Subsequently, he drew a card spirit card from 100 ghosts night walk. Thomas A. May, level 50. Thomas Mo May is the highest level Kaling in the 100 ghosts night walk deck. Although it is not as good as Arena, 
but with the blessing of the astral card, Ghost Wrong, it is still easy to break through level 60. In fact, there is no way to compare the Hero series and the King series, and the advantages of the two are different. After calming down, Yi Zi used the card directly. The hazy light and shadow shone and quickly condensed into a graceful figure. Dressed in big red like a full-fledged dress, it is not gaudy. Instead, it presents a seductive charm against the backdrop of her incomparably delicate face and thrilling figure. Owner. Looking at the surrounding environment, Yu Zhao's eyes quickly locked on Yi Zi's face, a bright and amazing smile bloomed on her amazingly beautiful face, she lifted her skirt slightly, and Ying Ying made a graceful curtsy. Even Yi Zi, looking at this scene, couldn't help but feel a little lost. As expected of the legendary nine-tailed fox demon. With a secret sigh, Yi Zi asked casually. What shall I call you hello? Tomazao before, or Xiao Yu, of course, you can also call me sweetheart. Only you are the master. Yu Zhaoqin replied with a sweet smile, and by the way, he teased Yi Zi. Then call you Xiao Yu. Yi Zi ignored Tomamo's teasing. Like Arena, Tomamome is the first card spirit of the deck. If you want to better understand and use the deck, you must have more contact with them in the future. Fortunately, Yi Zi's star power is abundant, even if the two of them stay in the real world for a long time, they can still support it. You two get to know each other. Yi Zi also summoned Irina. Even indoors, she was still wearing that heavy-looking full-body armor. Irina, when you're not fighting on weekdays, you don't need to wear armor, you can just change into your normal clothes. Understood, my lord. Irina nodded lightly, and a black mist suddenly swelled up on her body, tumbling to form new clothes. In the blink of an eye, the heavy armor turned into a snug black t-shirt and denim trousers. Simple, but very suitable for the slender arena. This ability is too convenient. Yi Zi secretly wondered. Out of the corner of his eye, he caught a glimpse of Yu Zhao's interested face, so he also reminded. It's the same with you. This kind of dress is too exaggerated on weekdays. That's easy. Yu Zhao grinned and snapped his fingers, the red dress on his body suddenly blurred and twisted. When she regained clarity, her dress had already changed into a fiery red dress. Chapter 30. The turmoil of the Death Knell Canyon bug event has just fermented. When I go to school the next day. As soon as Yi Zi walked into the school gate, he noticed that countless eyes were cast on him. That's Yi Zi. That's him. Apart from being a little more handsome, I don't seem to see any other great things. Bah, the death knell beetle has killed thousands of heads, and a single finger is much more powerful than yours. I heard that it was because of Yeezy that there were almost no casualties among the students in class A. It's great, I also want to be a hero who can turn the tide. The students huddled together in twos and threes, discussing what happened yesterday. Although Yeezy killed the Yin Karen alien, it didn't spread. But just the heroic deeds of turning the tide in the worm tide and saving the lives of the whole class are enough to make Yeezy's reputation even higher, and he has become a new generation of man of the Tianxin Academy. Not caring about the sights and whispers around, Yeezy walked straight to the class. The class was also very lively. Seeing Yeezy's arrival, everyone gathered to say hello and thank him. If it wasn't for Yeezy's action, they would have confessed to Deathstroke Canyon yesterday. The students of class A who are the parties are most grateful to Yeezy. In the face of enthusiastic classmates, Yeezy couldn't ignore it, so he could only respond with a smile. After finally dealing with the crowd, he returned to his seat and sat down, he couldn't help but let out a long sigh of relief. It's more tiring than fighting aliens. It's hard work, hero. Xiao Huining next to him looked at him with a smile. I'm not a big hero. In that case, I also shot to save my life. Yi Zi shook his head noncommittally. Even so, you saved everyone's life. Xiao Huining said with a serious look, and at the end his face suddenly turned red. Anyway, at least for me, you're my hero. Cough. Faced with such straightforward words, Yi Zi also felt a little unnatural. He's not blind, and these days, he can't understand Xiao Weining's goodwill towards him. Okay, class is over. Just then Qin Hong walked into the class. Standing on the podium, he first talked about the insect tide incident yesterday. In addition to praising Yi Zi's outstanding performance, it is to announce Gao Wendong's death. Everyone already knows this. No one felt even the slightest sadness or sadness about it. 
from the moment Gao Wendong left them and escaped alone, no one regarded him as a classmate anymore. Boys and girls in this age group are young and full of emotions, and they are the most disliked of this kind of thing. Many people even secretly believe that Gao Wendong's death deserved it. Just didn't say it. Chin Hong understood this, so he turned to other topics after mentioning one sentence. In seven days, the annual college competition will be held. In theory, all four grades can participate. Students who are willing to do so can sign up with me. The words were said to the whole class, but Chin Hong's eyes fell on Yi Zi intentionally or unintentionally. Even the other students turned to look at him. In theory, anyone who is a student of Tianxin College can participate in the college competition. But theory is theory. Every year at this time of the year, the freshmen have just entered the school, and Ding Podian is only a star card student. Where does the strength come from and the senior seniors compete against each other? I'm afraid that if I can't even pass the pre-selection of the first level, I will be eliminated. But this year is different. Among the freshmen, there is a freak like Yi Zi. It can easily slaughter thousands of death knell beetles, and its strength is terrifying. Many senior students are probably not as good as him. If Yi Zi competes, he might get a good result. Ding, the achievement task is released. Academy chief get the first place in the upcoming academy competition, you will get 1000 achievement points when you complete the achievement, and you will have a chance to draw a random deck. Have to. Don't think about it now. Yi Zi shrugged, raised his hand and said. Teacher, I want to participate. Okay, then I'll sign up for you. Chin Hong smiled unsurprisingly. The classmates in the class also showed such expressions. A's, come on. Xiao Huaning encouraged in a low voice and took the opportunity to change his name. Seeing Yi Zi just chuckled and nodded without correcting her name for him, the girl secretly rejoiced. This time the relationship is one step closer. After class, Xiao Huaning summoned the courage to invite Yi Zi to dinner. Yi Zi agreed without any hesitation. Just when the two were about to leave the school, they were stopped by a middle-aged man at the door. Hello, Yi Zi. The middle-aged man smiled and looked gentle. First meeting, let me introduce myself, my name is He Xiaofei. Before Yi Zi could answer, Xiao Huaning next to him suddenly covered his mouth and exclaimed. He Xiaofei, president of the Tianxin City Card Disciple Association. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.